Good morning, Lavish fam. Welcome back. I am so happy to be back and able to talk to you guys. Um, of course, you know, Dante and I and the family went on a week-long cruise on MSC. And we just got back last night. And I'm off to a late start today because that drive back, we decided to drive to Miami against our better judgment and we will not be doing it again <laughs> oh my goodness getting there wasn't as bad I think because we were anticipating and we were so excited for the vacation but coming back mm -mm, mm -mm. Dante didn't go to the gym today I didn't go to the gym today I just recently got out of bed at like maybe 10 took a shower is 11 now and <laughs> got dressed because I feel like I need to I got so many things that I need to do um but I'm off to a late start but anyway um I'm gonna show y'all what I bought while we were gone while we were on the cruise because of course what's a cruise without some shopping okay so let me take you in there and I'll show you what I bought I didn't go crazy. I didn't buy a lot of stuff, but they were a little bit pricey, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so. Oh, one second. Yeah. I watched it this morning. It's incredible. Okay, so I bought three bags of this Blue Mountain coffee. If y'all Jamaican and drink coffee, or you been to Jamaica and tasted their coffee, you will know why. It's expensive when you try to order it online because of shipping and all of that, but this is the best coffee I've ever had in my life. And every time we go to Jamaica, we get some. We drink it the entire time we're there. You know, Dante and I both are coffee drinkers. So I got three bags of these and they gave, gave they were 40 bucks each. But then because I, they had a, like a, a deal, if you buy three, you get them for a hundred. So I got all three. And then I got I got this in um Cozumel because when you walk up they have so many free tequila tastings. And as soon as we got off the cruise ship, this was the first one I tasted, and then um I went to several other places and did some tastings. And this was the one I ended up coming back and getting right before getting back on the cruise ship. Wow. I'm not a huge drinker, but when I do drink, I do like fruity stuff. And they had this. Oh, let me take this little green thing off. Can you see? And it came in different like um, flavors, but this is the one that we tasted. And when I tell you, it tastes just like a pina colada in a bottle. And they say you should mix it with coconut rum. What's the coconut? Yeah, coconut rum. But it was it was delicious. And I don't think I need to mix it with anything because this is thirty percent alcohol. So I'll probably will be just drinking it just like that. But it don't stop there. I got more alcohol. So let me get it. I know. So I got these in Jamaica. I got this um, Jamaican rum cream. They don't sell this here in the United States. Not this brand anyway. And this kind of can go in your coffee. That's how we hit it in the coffee. And we got the rum and raisin. But they had like chocolate and then they had coconut and they had just a regular flavor. Oh, Dante picked this one. And I got this West Indies strawberry cream. Like it's a strawberry um, Jamaican rum cream liqueur. Can you see? Okay, and then I got this uh, mango one. Also, don't sell these in the United States. 
and they are absolutely also delicious. Like you can just put them in the refrigerator, get them cold. And let's see how many. This is 15% alcohol, and this one is also 15%. So absolutely delicious. And I got one other thing. Okay, so last year for Christmas, remember I told you in the tree that was in the office, um, I was collecting ornaments from uh, different travel places. So I ended up getting this little ornament in the Cayman, in the Cayman Islands. It's a stingray with a, <laughs> with a hat. And I thought this was super cute. Um, I didn't get one in Jamaica. That's okay. That's okay. Because I plan to go back. <laughs> right. Plan to go back. Because I love Jamaica. But yeah. So I got this one. And that's all I got. But. Let's go to the office again. Wait. I want to show them my shirt. As I've been standing here the whole time. Oh, I didn't know you had something to show. Hold on. Imani want to show y'all her shirt. Hold on. Alright. Show them your shirt. It says. Totally wasted. Move your hair. Move your hair. It says totally wasted. And it's the frogs. Or the toads. And I got it in Cozumel. And before you say anything, the legal drinking age in Mexico is 18. So this is appropriate. Okay. It was also legal. I mean, no. Legal in uh, Jamaica too. I know. Because I had five shots on that room tour. And it was hot. And it was making me hot out. It was, even, it was the worst. It was terrible. But it was a great time. Great ten time. Out of ten. ten out of ten. I got a nice tan. I see you, girl. I see you. Okay. All right. Okay, so back to our regular scheduled program. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> call me crazy. But the day we were leaving and driving down, Bath and Body Work started their semi-annual sale. So as I'm in the car about 6 in the morning, I was ordering me some stuff online, so let's open that. I think I just cut myself. Okay. Pretty huge. Hold on, let me find another place to sit, y'all. There we go. Can y'all see me? Okay. Oh, this is they they box is fancy. Okay, so I got four candles. They come all nicely packaged. It says Paradise Cove, seaside sandalwood, eucalyptus leaves, sweet oranges with natural essential oils. Oh, that's pretty. So I got this one. Can you see? Golly. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. I don't like overly sweet candles. I like them to have a bit of a masculine type of smell. So when I see um, any type of wood, I usually get it. This is dark amber and oud. I don't know if you can see it, but either way, oud is a big um, item. Is a big thing that's used over in like 
the Middle East, like in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and things like that. They use it in their colognes, their perfumes, um, all types of things like that, body oils. So it's really big over there. <sighs> this smells amazing. Because I told Dante, I was like, when we get to Dubai, I'm definitely getting me some perfume made of oud oils or whatever. And if it smells anything like that candle, mm, that smells amazing. Okay, so I got this one. This one is Bergamot Waters. My hands are ashy as usual. This one's very mild. Blue Waters, um, Bergmont, um, Blue Waters, and Sandalwood. It's very mild. And that's the last candle. Okay. This one is White Lavender and Eucalyptus. White Bar Nature. There we go. This one has more of a floral scent, but it's not sweet. So this one's fine too. I like that one too. Okay, and then I got got this for Dante. Um, it's just smooth amber, like their body sprays. Cause they didn't really have any men stuff in the collection. And I just got a bunch of different lotions. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the crazy thing is, I already have probably more than I need of lotions. But guess what? You don't know how long this in my annual sale stuff going to ever last. It can go away. So I have to get enough to last me just in case they decide to like, oh, and I got two of these sprays. Um, just in case. Is this broken? It is. Oh, no, baby. I'm taking this back to the store. This is broken. This don't even have a spray thing on that. That's okay. Going on back. Here's my receipt. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just always shop the semi-annual sales and I have a stockpile of the lotions just because, like I said, you don't know how long these sales are going to be going on. But yeah, I got to take that one back because this one's broken. Ugh. Okay, so I had to put these away. Um, one more thing. So, y'all know your girl blind. She wear glasses and contacts. So after being on the cruise, I took my contacts off to give my eyes a rest and put my glasses on. But my new glasses came, y'all. Look at here. Because I like to change them out every now and then. Dante, stop your coughing. So, um, I like to change them out every now and then. Because change is good. Alright. So, I was sent these by Fito. Fito is an online. Um, a company that sells glasses and you can either get them for fashion reasons or you can get them because you like fashion and you're blind so you can just upload your prescription to their website um, and then they'll actually put your prescription in there or whatever in whatever lens that you want they are um, very affordable compared to going to your local 
you know, eyeglass company. You can get all different sizes. I mean, all different styles, all different looks. You can even get them tinted. You can get them whatever if you want them to be transitional. Whatever you want. You can do all of that on their website. They even have a feature where you can try the glasses on and see how you look in them before you buy them. You just basically take a picture of yourself and they'll put the glasses on you so you can see what they look like. And I love that feature. Okay, so... It comes with your little cleaning cloth. Comes with, what is this? Oh, just some information about their company. And a coupon for $10 off on any, order, any orders over $75. And it comes with the actual ruler for you to be able to, for you to be able to uh, measure your peripheral or your like um, center of your eye. And I got I got four different pairs. So this is just yeah my prescription information. Let's see what they look like. Also, they come in these bags as well. They don't come in like the hard cases, which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. Okay. First pair are these clear ones. I think they're champagne color. Y'all know I like a kind of boxier frame. Okay, they got this plastic on it to protect it. And then that's the detail on the side. I can't tell if y'all if it's blurry or not because I can't see. Okay, these are cute, and I can see. Maybe these are cute. I think I'm wearing these today. Am I giving? super cute and they're comfortable they're not heavy they don't hurt my ears they fit my face my, oh my goodness I love those okay so I think that's the ones I'm wearing today even though I haven't even seen the other three pair okay and then I got these that are transitional um not transitional but like um yeah like the color is uh what's the word I'm looking for ombre that's what I'm looking for. Good Lord, Nisha. Okay, so these have black and then they have like a pinkish bottom. Same basic shape because that's my favorite shape. Don't judge me. I like what I like. These are cute too. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. These are super cute. Yes, I'm looking at myself so I can see what they look like versus looking over here. Y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. Because I'm getting into them at the same time that I'm trying to show them to y'all. Okay. What y'all think? I think these are cute and you can wear them like with something more like business casual. Or just like if you're trying to get that more sophisticated type of look. Versus, you know, like everyday... You know, run into the grocery store look. But either way, I'm going to be wearing these too because I adore these as well. Okay, so let's go to the third pair. These are gray. I wear a lot of gray, so I thought that would be appropriate. And it's also basically almost the same shape because I, I like what I like. It is the same. These are very cute as well. They're so lightweight and I can see my prescription is perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's let's try on the last pair. Oh, 
Okay, so these are definitely outside of my comfort zone. Definitely. I've never worn anything like this. Never. Because I am so, like, basic. <laughs> I like neutrals and things that are not too loud, but I wanted to try something different. Y'all see that orange? And that animal print. What y'all think? What y'all think? I think I'm wearing these today. I think these are a winner. <laughs> what y'all think? Okay, I think I'm keeping these on. So, thank you so much, Fito, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I will put my discount code um, across the screen and all of their information in the description box. I am in love with all these glasses because I like to change things up and today I am wearing these because I thought I wouldn't like, I, I was really worried that I wouldn't because I like neutrals and I like, you know, basics, but you know, sometimes it's time for a change. So that's the plan for today. That's all I have to open, but today's plan I got to go to Lowe's. So let me tell y'all why. So remember I told y'all that my closet needs to be revamped? It does. It needs to be revamped. Because when I redid it, when I tore that closet out, I was living here alone basically. Dante was living out at our rental home. Um, but now that he's back and my wardrobe keeps expanding, um... Our closet looks like it threw up because it's all in the bedroom. It's all everywhere. And <sighs> it's a mess. So I need to do a revamp of the closet. I also need, or not need, but want to change out the shower head in our master bathroom. So don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore it. It works wonders. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's a rainfall head. It has really good pressure. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it other than it don't detach for me to be able to clean that, that uh, clean our shower well. And it doesn't have a handheld, which makes it very difficult for me to clean our shower the way that I want to clean it. Because I feel like if I'm not getting soaking wet doing it, I'm not doing it right because there is it's so hard to get into the corners and move around with it so you know what I'll just show you what I'm talking about so let's go upstairs before I take y'all in my space don't judge me don't judge me I just came off vacation last night I'm doing laundry today um and as I stated <laughs> my clothes have become ridiculous and I need to purge, which is the plan for this week. Um, I'm already nervous because this is like, this is very intimate. <laughs> Me taking y'all into this space. And we're also still in the middle of unpacking. So, okay. So as you see, there's a box of clothes there. There's a basket over there. There's shoes right there. That looks a mess. Then there's some of Dante stuff. Okay. I'm doing laundry, so then there's shoes that I packed for vacation over here. My suitcase is still there. I made up the bed. <laughs> okay. So let's go into the bathroom. Okay. So, as I was... Hold on. Alright, so... That's our current shower head. Like, let me show you. It's wet because I took a shower just like 30 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes ago. So, as you can see, it's pretty big. This is my hand. So, you can see it's pretty big. But, it's really hard to clean the shower because it, it doesn't move. It's really tight, so it doesn't move the best. So, I'm trying to like throw water do all types of things to get all of the cleaning done and it is a task 
So I want to go and get another one today so we can switch that one out. Okay. I also need to patch my ceiling. <sighs> Marriages suck. They suck big time. So they have you at 11 months to call them to put the come and do these damn nail pops. Okay, now take it. They didn't come into basically our 12 month mark. So our warranty was voided after that 12 months, right? Um, for like little things, repairs of little things. So by the time they fixed my nail pops, my 12 months had already run out. Probably not even a month after they finished the nail pops, one of the areas that they did nail pops on literally busted open. Let me show you. Can you see that? So, now, I mean, thank God I know how to fix it because all of the DIYs that I've done. But the fact is, why should I have to in a brand new home? Why? Why? That's a vlog I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna do a vlog on marriage because I'm so, I'm, you know what? I ain't, not today, not today. Okay, so let me show y'all my closet. And like I said, don't judge me. Don't judge me at all because you know, I'm human and y'all know I've been struggling with this thyroid issue and it, it's a little outrageous, but okay. So here's the closet. Issues all over the floor. This is a bag of old scrubs that I put, I've been meaning to drop off forever. Hang down it. Um, there's clothes everywhere clothes that I ain't worn in years that I really need to get rid of. Then there is all of this ish there. There's more shoes there. There's basket of clothes there. My drawers are overfilling. I mean like uh, basically like stuff to the max. I need to organize all of this. Then the shoes are like ridiculous. I need to add in some more shelves. Then there's a mess up there. All the Dante shoes are stuffed over here from when I did his man cave. His don't look as bad as mine, but baby, this is a hot mess. It's a hot mess. So I need to fix this. I need to completely fix it. So that is my plan. My plan is to take all of this down, put extra shelves in here, so that I can move his shoes over here as well. So I need to go to Lowe's and get more shelves as well as brackets. I have another rod to put down here so he can hang more of his stuff and then um, maybe move his shoes to the extra shelving and also up here. Yeah, so that's my plan, is to go to Lowe's and get some stuff so I can revamp this closet again. So, that's my plan for today. Um, yeah, and then I need to empty out this closet. But that'll probably be tomorrow. <laughs> Either way, I'm about to go to Lowe's. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, Amani and I are back from... Um, running errands we ended up going to sam's club to get protein like premier protein be, uh, shakes because dante and i were um out of them and theirs are much cheaper than just going to walmart you can get like 15 a box of 15 for like 26 bucks so we went there and then we went to we had to go to two different freaking lows because the one that's by the sam's club which is my favorite one, said that it had like 21 of those like shelvings that the shelves that I needed uh, to put in a closet. It said online that they had 21 in stock. Got there and there was absolutely none on the shelf. So I asked the guy, he said, oh, that's a mistake. We're out. So 
So I just got a few things from there. I got this. So this is a the head, the shower head that I'm gonna replace it with because it comes with the um, the sprayer as well, and ours is mowing. Everything in our house is mowing, so of course it should be just easy to pop this one off and pop the other one off. I never did it before. I never did it. Um, but there's a lot of things I've never done before, and I seem to be okay with doing. So hopefully, <laughs> maybe I can get Dante to do it. I don't know if he ever did it either. But between the two of us, I figure we could be able to figure it out. We'll figure it out though. We'll, we'll see in just a bit. Um, and then, um, what else did we do? Then I went to the other Lowe's to get the actual shelves. They they said on their website that they only had, I think, four in stock. And I was like, okay, well, I need to get there and get those four. Only for them to have about 20 of them in stock. It don't matter. I got what I needed. And um, it's like 344 so I don't know if I'm going to start today. I think I'm going to start fresh tomorrow. But before I forget, because I am a little forgetful these days, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner of the giveaway, the 20K subscriber family member giveaway. So um, first off, I want to say thank you for everyone who entered, everyone who subscribed to my channels, both channels, and has been part of this family and rocking with me for a while now. I'm telling you, I am like overjoyed. I am speechless all the time. Every time, you know, I meet one of y'all out in public, I'm speechless. I am, I don't even know the words to say because I just, I, I'm thankful. I am so thankful each for each and every last one of y'all. Um, and it's a humbling thing because it, it, it definitely makes you realize that, you know, that there is really good people out here. I told y'all, I don't have the best, you know, time. I don't have the best, um, I'm trying to like keep it together because I'm, you know, I'm very emotional. I don't have the best luck when it comes to picking friends. I don't have the best luck when it comes to, you know, sometimes even with family, well, family members. Um, but one thing for sure is the consistency that I get and the love and the support that I get from you guys on here. And it does not go unnoticed. Even if I can't get to answering all of the questions or the comments or whatever, you know, it does not go unnoticed. I am... I, you know, now that I am doing YouTube full time, um, I'm constantly, you know, making content. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I can only get to so many people, but I, I just want y'all to know that please keep commenting. Even if I can't comment back right away, I do see them. Um, but you know, and I appreciate it. So with that being said, I know y'all like, go on and tell me who won. Let me tell y'all. So I, I'm going to be honest, I don't do, I don't pick them. I don't because it's hard for me to, to, to be like, well, you know, because I want to give everybody something and I can't. So I always either employ one of my girls, either it's Ariel who... They ain't want nothing. Um, so either it's Ariel who does um, this app that's like called a, called a randomizer or something like that, and she'll tell me who it picked. And today I had um, my assistant because you know she worked for me, so I feel like that's her job. So I had her to do it, and she told me that the winner is drum roll, Janetta Campbell. I'll put it across the screen because I might be saying it wrong, but it's like Johnetta Campbell is the winner. Please reach out to me, Johnetta, and and I will we'll work it out whether or not you want a cash app, whether or not you want an Amazon gift card, whether or not you want whatever, you know, whatever. Just I got you, girl. So Johnetta Campbell is the winner of this giveaway. But just know. The more we grow, you know, I'm always giving out something. 
because I appreciate y'all. And without y'all, there would be no me. <laughs> well, that would be a me, but that would not be a living lavishly with Nisha. You know, yeah, yeah. You get it. You Y'all get it. Y'all get it. And of course, as my travel channel grows, just know that there will be giveaways on that channel as well. So right now, that channel is probably a little bit over a thousand subscribers. But as it grows, I will be giving away on that channel as well. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. I think, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, Not really go to bed, but I got a lot to do in that closet. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. So today is Tuesday and as you see I have on another pair of my Phyto glasses. Um, so yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm off to a late start. So let me tell y'all. Y'all know I started this thyroid medicine, right? And probably halfway through the cruise, I had actually started to feel back to my normal self like energy wise I was waking up I had energy I wasn't laying I was able to get up get going whatever and not feel like I was dragging <sighs> and then I forgot to take it one day one day I got down to breakfast and we got ready to sit down and realize I had my plate already and my medicine was back in the room and I skipped it when I tell you I felt like a, re a whole reset, like now I feel like, I promise you, like it instantly went back to the fatigue and drowsiness and just ridiculous. Just after just missing it one day, one day. So, of course, I'm dragging. I'm struggling <laughs> with getting moving, but, but. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better because it is 9 40 a.m. and I've been woke since five. So today's plans is to at least do the shower, change out the shower head, probably go ahead and do a little bit more decorating in the bathroom. Cause you remember I bought that. Let me show you. This. I brought this to put in the bathroom. So I'm going to put this up today, most likely. That's the plan. Fix the hole in my ceiling. And um, start editing my vacation vlogs. So that is the plan so far for today. Um, I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to start on the closet, but that is the plan for today is to do the bathroom so that I can clean the shower without getting soaking wet. So let me eat some breakfast and then I will, cause you know, I always got to eat breakfast and then I'll get started with my day and I'll be back in just a bit. <laughs> Y'all. So I ate breakfast. And was sitting down talking to the family. Next thing you know, I'm sitting on the couch, wrapped up in a blanket, watching HGTV. And it's almost 1 o'clock and I ain't did nothing. <sighs> the girls asked me to go to the movies with them to see Boogeyman. And I was going to go. And I was like, nope, I need to do some work. I need to get some work done. I'm going to have to pass. Baby, I ain't did nothing. So I got my spackle. And I'm about to go upstairs and get started because you know what? I'm going to be productive today. I'm going to be productive. I don't care how tired I am. So let me go ahead and um, let's go upstairs. Okay, so um, I'm in the master bathroom. I'm going to, like I said, fix this, um, patch this hole with this spackle. 
Um, you know what? Um, let me see if I need to go up, go up uh, downstairs and get the ladder. The ladder. God, leave my words all over the place. Let me go that. Let me go in a closet and see if this step stool is going to be tall enough, or if I'm going to have to go downstairs and get the actual ladder. So, hold please. Okay, so it's tall enough, so I want to just see if I can, let me see if I can angle y'all the right way. <laughs> Let's see. There we go, yep, so that's it right there. Can y'all see? It's right there. So that was pretty simple um, to like repair. So once it dries, then I'll just put a little bit of paint on it um, to repair it or well, to kind of make it match. But just put a little bit of spackle in there and fill the hole. And like I said, now I just wait for it to dry and then I will paint over it. But I think I'm gonna now attempt, <laughs> attempt to change this. Um, shower head so let me put this away and then I will start on that okay so can y'all see me it's a little dark okay so remember this is the one I bought let's see here it says that it's easy. The hand shower is easy to dock, to dock even with your eyes closed. So we're going to see how easy this is. Because hopefully it's just as easy to put up. Because <laughs> like I said, I ain't never did this before. But how hard can it be? Let's see. So it's saying I need a, a wrench and some glasses and some goggles. Okay, so this looks pretty simple. There's pictures, which <laughs> we love. We love some pictures. So I think I need to first take off the other piece. Okay. Let let me let me um let me read the directions. They seem pretty simple. It's like uh telling you the parts and then it says like step one unthread old shower head. Remove old shower head. Remove all existing putty and tape from shower. Loosen nut. Wait a minute. Why do these keep starting over? Oh, that's number four. Attach shower, rain shower to shower arm. Tighten shower ball. Why do you want me to remove all existing putty and tape? But don't tell me when to put more on there. Hmm. Interesting. So I need to take it off, but they don't tell me to put more on. Well, I bought some tape anyway because I don't want no leaks. I just got to figure out where I put it. <laughs> I put it in my purse, but then I remember taking it out my purse. Okay. 
I can do this. I can do this. Um, so let's take off the first one. Okay, so I'm going to take this step stool and put it in there. I think I need a wrench to take that off. It's a bit tight. So, hold please. Let me go to the garage and find one. Okay, so it's tidy, righty, lefty, loosey. Tidy, righty, lefty, loosey. So, let's see. It ain't big enough. I'm going to have to go try again. Let me go see what else I got. I'm pretty sure I got another one. But this ain't going to get it. Maybe these stairs are about to take me out. Third time, hopefully. It's a charm. So we got it off. It says to remove the old tape, but I have, let's see, I have some tape. I bought it at Sam's, not Sam's, good Lord, I bought this at um, Lowe's because I figured I might need some, but it already got tape on it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so it's telling me to put it. So this is the loose of this nut. to allow shower ball to rotate. This is the shower ball. Attach rain shower. Two, one, two. And then tighten. Okay. All right. So it wants me to put this piece on there and then tighten. 
this one with the wrench and then this one tighten. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I think. All right. This thing is scratching that thing all the way up, so I need to put something around it and tighten it. So I think I have it. We shall find out in just a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, I think I have that. Tighten it. Hand tighten nut until it won't stop. I think I did that. Then it says attach the washer and holes to the rain shower. And then dock it. Let's see. We don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Let's test it. I'm a bit nervous. So, we're gonna take this out and pray for the best. So, let's turn it this way. Okay, so, this part is leaking, so I must have didn't do something right here. Okay, let me try it again to make sure I'm correct. Yeah, so the holes is not tightened enough, but looks like I got the wrench, the top part 
sealed properly, but the hose is leaking. So let me figure that out. that went in there but I don't know what I did with it let me find it okay so it's not me it was supposed to come with three washers and one was pre-installed and the other two I only have one so the hose is leaking because I only have one washer so I think I'm gonna go in the garage and see if we have any. If not, I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's, which freaking sucks because that wasn't my plan today. That wasn't my plan. So, hmm. Yeah, that wasn't my plan. So let me see what I have in the garage and go from there. Okay, so I found some washers in the garage. They're not exactly the same, but fingers crossed <laughs> they work because I really don't want to go to Lowe's. But you know what? Fingers crossed. That one works. That's the replacement. So let's see if it's gonna work. Okay, 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 okay. So I got the good one in my hand. This might work. I did it. I did it. Look. Can y'all see that? Hold on. So that's it. And it's not leaking. Okay, okay, okay. I just learned a new skill. Okay. That was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. The problem is I just not I just didn't get everything that I needed in that kit, which was that missing washer. And thank God I be keeping like extra stuff in the garage when I have like different things that come with all these different screws and washers cuz I just so happen to have one that fit. Okay, okay. Shower didn't take me out. Now I can clean the shower without getting soaking wet. So now let me see if I can put up, let me clean this up. And then I'm going to try to put that thing on the wall right, okay, it's not focusing, right there. Okay, so I think I have everything that I need to hang this shelf. I have some um drywall anchors and um the nails so that's first and foremost
see if I can get this right on the first try. Let's see. I have a summer cold and I got it from Dante before we went on vacation and um, it's just lingering. Um, yeah, I got it from Dante right before we went on vacation. So, all right. This looks like it'll work. Hopefully it does. I don't even know if there are studs over there. I know there's studs over there, but I don't know where they are because I didn't check. You know what? That would be a good idea. So I don't waste my time with these anchors. Let's see. so much with that freaking shower head but that's okay it's a I just need to decorate it but I need to clean my bathroom first and I need to touch up this paint up here so I'm gonna take a lunch break I'm gonna take a lunch break at two o'clock um, and then I'm gonna come back touch up that paint clean up my bathroom And put some on the shelf. I'll be back. All right, y'all. So <laughs> I am completely finished with putting up um, the shower head. The new shower head and then um, lighting is off. As well as cleaning the bathroom. And of course you saw me put up this new shelf. So let me just show you what the bathroom looks like all together. So there's still some things I want to do in here. Um, maybe hang some artwork on this wall over here by the sink as well as the one above the light. But for now, I'm going to leave this alone and start on my closet. <laughs> so I'm going to end this vlog and then tomorrow I'll start a new one where, we, where I will tackle my closet. Yeah tackle my closet tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.